All right, now we want to work this out. 3.4, and this has something to do with the molar volume. So at STP, you have 2.4 dm cube, and at room condition, you have 24 dm cube. So number one, calculate the volume of the following gases. 0 0.3 moles of oxygen gas measured at room condition. So what you do is, you remember the formula, room condition, you use 24N. All right, so the question asks for 0 0.3 mole of oxygen gas. They want the volume, so 24 times 0 0.3, you will get a figure of 7.2, alright? 7.2 dm cube. That's for the first question. That will be question 1a, alright? How about B? Okay, let's try B. B is a four mole of helium gas measured at STP. Four mole of helium gas measured at STP. So volume at STP two two point four, and they give four mole of helium gas. So two two point four times four. So this one you get eighty nine point six dm cube. Alright, how about C? C, they are asking for 1.5 mole of hydrogen gas measured at room condition. So you have this one again at RTP. You just multiply with 1.5 mole of hydrogen gas. So times 1.5, 36. Okay, this one will give you 36 dm cube of volume if you have 1.5 mole of hydrogen gas all right now let's turn to question number two okay let's look back at the question question number two find the number of moles of the foreign gases 48 dm cube of chlorine gas 560 cm cube of carbon dioxide gas 960 cm cube of hydrogen chloride gas all right so remembering this page and you can refer to your textbook now you can go here now maybe i can put some information for you so they want to find the number of moles i mentioned before actual volume over standard volume it could be also standard uh, actual volume over standard volume all right so question a has something to do with uh, room condition at room condition right so they mentioned that there are 48 dm cube of chlorine gas right cl2 so what you do is uh they mentioned that this has to be at room condition so they want to find a number of more so and we use this one 48 over 24 so this one is two more at RTP condition. Right? How about B? B they gave us 560 dm3. No, sorry. They gave us 560 cm3. So, we need to convert it to dm3. How do we convert it to dm3? We divide by 1000. All right? So, 5600 no, 560 divided by 1000. That will give you a figure of 0 0.56 dm cube. Then, what condition? The condition is STP. Okay, you can check here. 560 cm cube of carbon dioxide, CO2 at STP. So, you need to use this to find the number of mole. You need to put n equals to v over 22.4 all right so you key in this value now change color you key in this value all right so you get 0 0.56 divided by 22.4 and this will give you a figure of the calculation would be let me have my calculator. 
0.56 divided by 22.4. 0 0.025 mole. 0 0.025 mole. Right? How about C? C, what they are asking in C? Let's, let's check it out. C, 960 cm of hydrogen chloride at room condition. Okay, again convert it to dm cube. So 960 cm cube. Okay, once you are familiar with it, you can just write 0 0.96 dm cube. So the number of mole at room condition, this is a HCl gas. At room condition, actually, any gas doesn't matter. It's regardless of any gas. So volume over uh, 24. So what you get is, because this room condition, so you divide by 24, so 0 0.96 divided by 24, and the mole that you get will be 0 0.96 divided by 24. Now you get 0 0.04. You get 0 0.04 mole. Alright? So that's it for this uh, section. Work this up 3.4, page 37. I hope you learned something by watching this video clip. Feel free to tell your friends, alright? And tell them this good thing, the moral solution that will help them in their study. Thank you very much.